of God. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? You hear that? Because yeah. a righteous man is not supposed to have any association with those that are, are not righteous. Is that right? Yeah. But Jesus, he, you know, he often did things that seemed contrary. Hallelujah. But let's read on in the account, okay? But when Jesus heard that, did you hear that? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Do you understand that kind of talk? What Jesus is saying is, I, I didn't come to talk to you particular people right here, right now, because you already believe that you're whole. I come to talk to the people that are sick. Because I've got something for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And of course, you know, the, the Pharisees wasn't like today. They, they had the law of God in their mind. They knew what it said. So when Jesus would speak these words that were penetrated into the very conscience of man. Are you following me? They, they went to the heart of the matter with these people. You follow me? It's not like today that when people speak the word of God, people look at you with some puzzled, bizarre look. These people understood what very well what was being said because they were doctors of the law. Hallelujah. But Jesus is not dealing with a physical sickness here, right here, brothers and sisters. And as we go on and read, listen to what he says. He told the scribes and Pharisees, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. Is that not an intelligent conversation? Yes. He tell them, you go do something. You go learn what they mean. In other words, he's pointing them right back to the very law who they say that they support. He's pointing them right back to the Torah. Hallelujah. And look what he says. He says, and I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. What beautiful words it is, huh? You see, because only someone who know their condition, their per depraved condition, they're the only ones know that they need a physician. Amen. When someone is sick, they know they need somebody to heal them. Yeah. But when someone who think that they're not sick, yet they are sick, they don't need a physician. So Jesus was pointing them back to what they believe and said, now you go and you figure out what that says. And then you would understand what I'm talking about. And then I would have mercy on you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go over to Luke, the fourth chapter. Are we listening? Yes, Hallelujah. We're going to start at verse 14. And the scripture says, And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about. And he taught. Did y'all hear that? Yes. Key word. And he taught in their synagogue, being glorified of all. And he taught. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. I'm highlighting something. Now, I'm going to stop there just for a moment. And I'm going to go over here to Matthew, the 28th chapter. And I'm going to show you something about this talk and this teaching thing, okay? Because remember, scriptures agree with scripture. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're developing something here. And we're going a particular way. Because I understand that this way may be new to people, but you can't expect people to understand something new, especially when it's not taught in their particular arenas. Hallelujah. But when we all agree what the Bible says, we're holding fast that there's only one that is true. Hallelujah. Now, in verse 19, look what he says in Matthew 28, verse 19. He says, look, go ye therefore and teach. And that's amazing, isn't it? And that's amazing. Is that not amazing, brothers and sisters? Go ye therefore and teach. Isn't that something? Now, I'm going to stop right there because we know what it says. We're going back over here to Luke because we're developing a sincere thought here, okay? 15th verse of Luke 4, and he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all. Is that right? And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, something that he continually did all of the time, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for the read. So Jesus didn't go to the synagogue on Sunday or the first day. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day according to the scripture. 
Because according to Mark 2.27, 2.28, he is the Lord.